two because we have run out of tape on the other tape. Cocktail tables, end tables, lamps, and Restonic mattresses. All with remarkable savings. Sale prices effective till the end of the month while quantities last. At Engberg's at 221 Main Avenue West in Twin Falls. <laughs> After a door, John McMullen has told the Houston Chronicle newspaper the entire Coy. 1990 Major League Baseball season could be lost because Coy. of the current contract negotiation stalemate. The Texas Rangers Coy. owner George Bush Jr. says he is a bit more optimistic, but he admits he has not been involved personally in the talks, as has McMullen. Meanwhile, Bush's well-known dad, a celebrated fan of the game, First says he would love to be at opening day somewhere, but he will not It'll intervene in the talks. Yes, I'm a ball fan. And I want to go to the opening game someplace. Last year went to the National League. Buck, Tim. This year I'd like to go to the National uh, League. Uh, that owe you a buck? No, not yet. Yeah, we haven't raced yet. Yeah. I think I've got to figure it out how we're going to race it. Uh, Alec, like intervene. Hey, hey, you guys. He starts it up in college. You start flying slow. Race to the bottom. Uh, right. Uh, now, that was, that was one of them that I thought about. But I thought, were the one where we take the Olympic run? The they come out on the, the that people. lower part. Uh, can't hear that. If we both start ball, at the again. same time, same spot, same spot, and just let the skis run on the lower part, on the lower part, yeah. now that would be fair. That would be, that would be fair. That would be fair. No skating. No skating. Just let them. Just let them ride. Where are your skis tonight? Oh, we're being waxed. Oh, I remember. I remember. Yeah, they're getting hot wax now. So right off the bat tomorrow morning. You know, that was important. Ryan Lou, you're mine. Mine. Or you better get out that door. That's not fair. A reminder about tomorrow night's special yeah, event for the Broncos and their team. The guys will gather with friends and fans for an overtime session at the Pavilion. Chili will be awesome. available for a donation. Proceeds going to the newly established Roots and Wings yeah, Award, yeah. honoring the spirit yeah, of this Bronco yeah, team. Other uh, food and drink will be available for sale, but for those choosing to pass on the dining, there will be no admission charge, just a good... What's the temperature out, right? Quite see our spot down there right now. Hanging tough. 
But we're on the Challenger lift and we're on our way up right now. Again, Ryan. Well, I going hold fast. on, hold on, hold on. There we are. This is Lime White. Yes, this is. Not an easy run. There's somebody up there trying it. Okay. That's right. Let's go. Coyote just got caught. It's kind of hard to take pictures and hold the camera still. Slow up, Ryan.
Ryan's about to take holiday. Gee, I ain't excited. Good luck, Ryan.
three levels, two balconies, four bedrooms. Oh, well, that's why. What if we have our own furniture? Three levels, two balconies, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, one yeah, bottle, right jacuzzi, right steam showers, and two fireplaces, completely furnished with security sprinklers and executone telephones. That's only half of that. Good. Good. This is a townhouse. Townhouse. No, no, I don't know whether, whether it's one level. Oh, it or one half, or one half. Because there's two balconies. It says townhouse, it doesn't say duplex. Uh, and now it's time for the would probably say duplex if. Uh, yeah, it's not the whole thing. Linda. No. Only 3,700 square feet of it. Yeah, it could be uh, quite a lot less than half of it. See what was going on up on the mountain? You see that wind howling up there? Yeah, I went to my uh, I went to my favorite grocery store and I was. <laughs> Corey. Oh, Hi, Corey. Hi, Linda. <laughs> and it uh, I was talking to the lady at the liquor store, and some guy came in there was a man with the falls. He said a few things going here. You ought to see it there. I go down to Paul's down in Healy. Jeff went to Healy, you guys should have been there. Oh, down to Healy also. Yeah, yeah. Down the airport. Bought a tank of gas, three quarts of transmission, two quarts of oil. <laughs> Sapphire's body fuel. That was only to get there. <laughs> Get all the gas that's, that's, that's quite it's one of those uh, little homey type of uh, grocery stores, supermarkets. Yeah. 
That's our spot down there, Greyhawk. And there's Mount Baldy. Squirrel. Um, let's 
side there is just the warm spring side. This one is warm springs. Does that belong that? Right there is uh I forget the name. Anyway. After getting all the way up here it's about time for me to go back down. Time is 5:43, and I gotta get down back. I don't want to back. I don't want to go yet. feet or so. But that was kind of neat. Fun. I like it. You can probably hear, maybe you'll be able to see that cat up there. Right there, right in the center of the screen. Snow cat plowing. It's like it's like a river run up there. Anyway, I'll probably get to you when I get down to the bottom here. I go all the way down that and all the way down there to Grey Arc. Well, we're going to have to see if this is here next year or next time we come down. Alaska, 90. I hope it will. Maybe something just a little something or I'm down a lot further now. Still a lot further to go. It's uh, 6.05. Sun's going down over there. And well, I better get going. Sapphire is kind of dead. <laughs> He's resurrected. Snow cat grooming. Anyway, I'm right on here down by the snow now. <sighs> Last time I talked to you, I was about up there on that ridge. Gone quite a ways. And I'm not done yet. And, oops, one's a cat. So, uh, see you a little later. Okay. Okay. Bye bye.
triple mileage on your plane? <laughs> yeah. Double mileage. <laughs> Nobody wants to fly suck air anymore. Everybody talking about it. <laughs>